Hey, what is up, Drip Tippers? It is Ben Morrison. I am back for another Driptastic Drip Tip video. <laughs> this time, I'm going to share some of the things I have learned in my long career of vaping. <laughs> Very long indeed. Um, just some tips and tricks that I think you might enjoy that might increase your vaping pleasurability. So without further ado, let's begin with tip numero three. Hey, uh, the first tip is one that I think is pretty cool, and it's one of my favorite uh, little tricks or, or trickerations that I think I can share with you. Uh, it's uh, for all you sub-tank mini owners out there, or nano, or really any tank with a thin chimney like this. This is the Q-tip trick. Um, one of the things I like most about the top fill tanks that are coming out is that you can actually fill up the entire tank. There's no space wasted because you're filling from the top down. One of the problems I've always had with tanks such as the Mini over here, which I have drained, is that there's probably like a mill or two of air that's just sitting, always sitting on top that you can't really fill up. So this is a way to get the full mills out of oh, your tank, and it's very easy. All you gotta do is get one Q-tip, um, uh, and you want the Q-tip to be able to fit in the chimney. Like so. Just just ram that Q-tip in the chimney. Just ram it in there. Uh, if it won't fit, you can just peel a little bit of the cotton away so it will. Basically, what you're going to do is take the Q-tip, stick it up in that chimney, like so. Hopefully you can see this. And you want it to stick out about a half inch up. And in a nutshell, you're just going to fill it up with the Q-tip in there. Which, when you do, will get you damn near another milliliter of juice in the tank. Which, for a tank, you know, with like a four mil capacity, whatever, it's uh, no small feat. So basically, once the Q-tip's in, you just fill it up as normal from the side. There is the juice. Hopefully you can see this. Up it goes. It'll be a little blurry, but why not? Do, do, do. And the Q-tip will prevent it from leaking down the chimney. There. That's probably enough. Perhaps even too much. You'll know if it spills over. But look how much more juice I get there. Then, you simply just screw it on as normal. The Q-tip will fit inside the coil. Boop. Screw it in. Boom. Remove the Q-tip, which is now soaked. You can discard that. And perfecto, your tank is like really actually full. And you can tell because the size of the air bubble is really small in there. I probably could have even fit more juice in there. But I absolutely love this trick because it gets you just that more juice capacity in your sub tanks, your nanos. And like I said, any other tank that has like a small central chimney, which I can't really... I have all these fucking tanks lying around. Let's just go with sub-tank for now. But the trick works awesome, and it vapes like a dream, and you get that much more juice capacity. Q-tip trick! Okay, tip number two on my list is... Who among you have flown on an airplane? To then land and discover that your tank has spilled copious juice all over the in-flight magazine that no one ever reads, and Sky Mall, God rest its soul. Um... So I figured out uh, just a very easy little way to avoid juice leaking out of your tank when the pressure changes, i.e. going up and down on an airplane. Here's all you gotta do. Put it in the pocket upside down. That's it, man! That's all you gotta do. Just put it in the pocket upside down. And the way the tanks leak, or, or don't leak, rather, is they leak out of the air hole and or the coil. If you put your tank upside down, when the pressure expands, the juice will come up and basically the air will get out, will escape through the air hole, etc., and not the juice. That's really all it takes. I've done this a couple times and I've had zero leaking issues. And if you are gonna vape on a plane, and this is in no way an endorsement of this, and any pe person who does this who in may in any way get in trouble for this has nothing to do with me or the drip tip, I do not condone this. You did not hear this from me if you're going to do it. Don't do it, but if you are gonna vape on a plane, here's how to do it. Um, say you're in your seat, it's a long flight, and you're staring out the window, this helps if you have a window seat. Basically, you just want to take a drag on your vape and uh, hold it in as long as possible. And then, about five to ten seconds after holding it in, begin taking in breaths of outside air to dissipate the vapor in your lungs. So, oh.
boom, no vapors coming out. And if it's done correctly, the only any the only thing anyone should be aware of is that it now smells like a uh, faint peanut butter and chocolate waft on the plane. So again, don't vape on a plane, but if you must, that's how to do it. Oh yeah, also don't uh, vape in the bathrooms at all, because that will set off the smoke detector. I know because I <clears throat> set up the smoke detector. This is not a fun experience. Luckily the plane hadn't taken off before and I went in like a total asshole with my headphones on listening to techno with sunglasses on with my little with my blankie, my childhood blankie that I flew with around my neck and just blew clouds in the restroom thinking it would never do anything and then I walked out and like three stewardesses was like what the fuck were you and I was like what? huh and uh, I was like were you smoking and I was like god no no e-cig and then the captain called and they were like you idiot so don't do that don't do that I probably shouldn't even be saying this so don't vape on a plane okay um tip number three is for people who have a lot of mess who like to build I must impress upon you, get the thine shop towels. These are amazing. They will be your best friend, the blue towels that you will see a lot of times uh, mechanics using. They they are neither towel, they are, they are neither paper towel nor terry cloth towel. They are in the middle. They are super absorbent and super strong. I get these at AutoZone for like three bucks a roll and they will quickly become your very best friend. From mats to building on to just keep them by your desk to wipe up juice. They are super absorbent, super cheap, and um, you gots to, gots to get the shop towels. Make your life a lot easier. And the final tip is just something of kind of a going out thing. Um, I consider myself to be trust stylish <laughs> when I go out. So uh, I don't like to carry a lot of things with me, but of course I do need to bring my tank and my battery. So tip numero uno is, let's see this, let's tilt the camera down. Get yourself a holster. Oh yeah. I do not leave the house without my holster. Bam. Locks in right there. And you can cover your shirt up with it. And you can carry a pretty sizable battery mod. This holster was originally intended for the MVP number two. And it had like a folding flap out there. But I cut that in half. And uh, <laughs> my girlfriend just walked in. She thinks I spend way too much time on these. And I probably do. Um... <laughs> Uh, I cut this in half, and then my girlfriend actually sewed it up. Um, but having a holster makes your life a hell of a lot easier. I will link in the comment section to where you can buy this and then modify it yourself. It had this other flap that folds out that was super stupid. And I'm sure there are other holsters. This is the one I've had, and it works really, really well. Um, and then my final tip is instead of carrying, like, a big 30 mil bottle of juice with you, who the hell wants to do that? Because we don't want... Hey! We don't want the dreaded running out of juice, do we, when we go out? No. So instead of carrying a gigantic 30 mil tank, I carry around this adorable little 4 milliliter dropper bottle. And I just simply slip it in the small pocket right here. That's the pocket for faux juice. And then there you go. That's like a whole lot. That's a whole tank refill right there. So before you go out, you fill up your tank. You're blowing clouds all night and you're like, oh shit, I'm out. Bam, juice in the pocket. So easy. I will also link in the comments to ones of these I found on eBay you can get for incredibly cheap. And if you don't wind up draining your tank and your friends have their vape and they're like, oh shit, I'm out of juice. You're like, well, check this out, buddy. I have this super stealth stealth juice. You want some? They'll be like, yeah. And you'll be like, nah, I pay good money for this juice. So <laughs> this is a quick video, very quick video. I just wanted to share some of these vape tips that have made my vaping life a lot easier uh, and more fun. And I will continue to provide more vape tips. And she's back. So. Fully supporting him, by the way. Fully supporting me in my vaping? Jesus. She's. Check out my girlfriend on Instagram, Christine's Web. Amazing artist. Say hello, Christine. Hi. Hi. And, uh, okay, just come on. I'm the star of this video here. <laughs> it's humility like that that. Yeah, yeah, it keeps me going. Well, I give her all my old vape stuff, too, so. <laughs> Who's got my 20 watt eye stick? Who was this one. This video is not about us. It's about vape tips. <laughs> so thank you everyone for the continued support. Uh, all you new subscribers, I love you. All the new comments, I will respond to everyone. 
Um, as always, uh, if you want to know more about me as a comedian, please check out my website at benmorrison.org, benmorrison.org, where you can see a bunch of my stand-up stuff, my work on television, you can buy my comedy album, and for anyone who lives in the Southern California area, you can see my performance calendar. Is it calendar? Calendar. Because I have a bunch of good live shows coming up. And if you like what I do and you want to see more videos, please like this video, then subscribe to this video, and stay tuned for more drip-tastic videos. And this is Ben Morrison for the Drip Tip. And remember, if your tip ain't drippin', you trippin'.